Hi everyone, it's your son Puffy, and today we'll. Uh, Hi everyone, it's your son Puffy, and today I'll be sharing with you guys five tips on how to keep your polymer clay clean while crafting, and before crafting and after crafting. Yeah, that's a good intro. Let's get started. So I guess I'll split this video into three sections. One is before crafting things you can do, during crafting, and after crafting. You know how when you scroll through a YouTube video, you can see like the little time stamps for each section. I'm gonna do those sections, just watch. If it doesn't happen, I couldn't figure it out. So before crafting, I usually make sure to wash my hands. I have this hand sanitizer that's like really sticky or something. So like when you put it on and you rub it, it like it automatically just clears off the dust on your skin and just little flakes that you just wash off. So it's really easy, but I can't recommend that hand sanitizer because I don't know what it's called, just sticky hand sanitizer. But anyways, wash your hands if you can. That's basically the... What? Why did you even mention the hand sanitizer? Because that's exactly how I clean my hands. So before you craft, make sure to wash your hands to get all the dust off and don't try to touch anything after that. So do it last, like right before you start crafting. But before you wash your hands, I need to tell you something you have to do before that. Before you wash your hands, make sure you have a clean workspace first. So if you have a smooth, hard surface that you can easily clean with Windex or Clorox wipe, do that first to get rid of all the dust. If you want, you can take a strip of tape and just tape the surface. And if you have like a rough surface to work on, you probably should get in a really thick big acrylic sheet that you can just place on your desk. Make sure it's heavy enough so it doesn't slide around while you're crafting, but get a big heavy acrylic sheet, slap it on your desk, and there's your surface that you can also clean and take off your desk. And you can put it back on after you're done so you don't have to clean your entire desk surface. I was going to get that, but I have not been able to get to that point yet because I am... Let me tell you the order of things. First, you have to clean your desk space then you wash your then you set up your workspace and then you wash your hands make sure you don't touch anything after you wash your hands unless it's your clay so make sure to save your hand washing for last and if you really want you can take a piece of tape just stick your fingers onto the tape so it sticks off the dust so it sticks off the dust sorry I'm t I, I talk too fast so sometimes I just mush up words and the single words which I shouldn't really do that because I should make my videos long while you're crafting there's honestly only one thing you can do to keep off the dust besides keeping your hands clean it's rubbing alcohol q-tip you just take the q-tip dip it in some rubbing alcohol like 70 percent isopropyl alcohol that's what i got i watched another video teaching me how to keep my clay clean before i started this youtube channel so i'm just migrating some of that information here so you take a q-tip dip it in some alcohol then just wipe it all over get the dust off the clay it's actually really effective but don't get a lot because sometimes i put too much rubbing alcohol on the clay and then like just little particles floating around it's also throw up an example video good 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 thinking Joyce so here you have a slab of clay I got some dust on it on purpose just to make sure that we can teach you for example purposes so you take your q-tip dipped in rubbing alcohol then you just circle it around the dust so it picks it up and then there you go You'll probably waste a lot of q-tips doing this because you don't want the dust that you already picked up to get back on the clay so make sure to stock up stock up on q-tips if you want to implement this but if you don't want to here's what you can do after baking so let's say you're done baking your charm but you see a piece of dust that you missed before you baked your charm what you can do is take an exacto knife and scrape off the dust on the surface of the charm if it's a little deep inside you can still like dig in scrape it a little and you can take the scrapings and you put it back in the hole so when you glaze there's not a hole in the charm it's difficult to do so I don't recommend digging inside the charm to get the dust but it's an option if you're out of options oh but if you don't glaze your charms I don't recommend doing this because it does leave like a white scratch it does leave it does leave a white scratch mark after you're done scraping off the dust so what I what I do is I usually glaze it with UV resin so it's gone anyways but if you don't glaze don't do this. Just try to keep the dust off while you're crafting. That's like the most, that's the easiest way, but also the most tedious way to keep dust off. 
personally I do the first step and the last step before and after I'm crafting during crafting I don't really care that much because I can always get it off before crafting I mean after baking I can always get off the dust after baking anyways because I usually don't have that much dust on my pieces I hope you guys enjoyed this super super short I hope you guys enjoyed this super short video of how I keep my clay clean. If this helped you in any way, please leave a like on the video and comment down below if you have any other tips that I didn't mention in this in this video, in this video, yeah. Oh, if you guys have any more ideas about polymer clay tip videos that you'd like me to make, comment down below too. If you enjoy polymer clay charm tutorials, polymer clay tips and tricks, and small business tips, Please subscribe because that's all the videos that I'll be making on this channel. I like to give advice on here as well as show everyone my art. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. I don't think I can. No, sometime this week. I'll see you later this week. Bye!